Hey guys, it's Ricky from Gamers International and today I'm going to show you all how to install ice cream sandwich or jelly bean on any of these three devices. Now the devices that are supported here is the Xperia X8, the X10 Mini and the X10 Mini Pro. So if you have one of, the, one of these devices and you want to upgrade it to the, to the latest Android OS, just follow this guide and you'll be able to do so. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to head over to my mega sharing account. I have the link in the description below so you don't have to worry about that. And once you're there, you just uh, you download three files. The first file you're going to download is the bootloader unlock.zip, the flash tool 0.9 and the gapps. So once you have those files downloaded, or what to download by the way, just uh, right click on any of those files and you get an option to hit download. And so once you have those files downloaded, go ahead and you open up the Flash Tool 0.9 and once that is opened up, just install it, basic install and then you go ahead and you open your C drive and then you go into the Flash Tool folder. Once you're there, you would see that there's a folder called Drivers. You go ahead and you open that. If you're using Windows 8, you need to use another tutorial that I created on how to install drivers on Windows 8 so you can check out that in, in another video right but if you're using Windows 7 and anything lower than that this works fine so just go ahead and you open it up choose yes and they would tell you welcome to the driver installation window go ahead and hit next and now they are telling you to select your device model so you could just slide this little bar over here to see more if you don't see a device on the, the blank page and just scroll on right be sure to select fast mode drivers and flash mode drivers right those are very important so today we're going to be demonstrating on the x10 mini pro so i would select the x10 mini drivers and i add hit install and i'd be prompted to install the driver i'd hit install and that's it i already have it installed so we're just going to move ahead all right next thing what you're going to do you would have the bootloader unlock now guys using bootloader unlock this means that you're going to unlock the bootloader on your on your xperia device all right so um first thing first thing you're going to do you're just going to right click and ex extract that zip file and then you're going to open it up all right now you're going to look onto your phone here all right you're going to just unlock your phone Right, we're gonna go to settings, scroll down into applications, check unknown sources, go ahead and hit OK in development, go ahead and check USB debugging, and you could check the other two options to the bottom as well. Right, once you have that, once you have that um, checked, now you gotta get your USB cable, right, and you plug your USB cable onto your phone, right, once it states that it has uh, made a connection you go ahead and you choose charge phone right and then let's just go back in here all right um now what you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna open the msm 722 se tools 2 right so you go ahead and you open that and then this little black box is gonna pop up and once this box pops up just go ahead and you press a button right they would let you know that it's getting the root rights so just wait a little bit right um if you hear your phone being uh taken out and um disconnected and connected again just um it's cool you know it, it has to happen right um so right now you're just waiting for the actual the actual unlock to finish you may notice that your phone would reboot at a certain point in time so if that does tend to happen don't worry about it it's all cool right and once the window disappears you wait until your phone boots back up and when your phone is back up you go ahead and you click s12 okay guys so once you have the s1 tool open right it's gonna look like this the first thing you're going to click if you look to the top right hand corner you're going to see identify 
go ahead and choose identify now they're going to tell you to disconnect your phone right so what you're going to do you're going to turn your phone off right you're going to power off your phone and when that is off you're going to use the the usb cable and you're going to jack it into the phone but this is what you're going to do you're going to press the back button the back button on your phone and you're going to hold that and while holding it you're going to enter you're going to jack the usb into the port right you're going to see this little light uh this little green light over here pops up and it's going to be solid so once that is once that looks like that then that's good right um now you're going to see some some reading on the on this sofa here and it's going to say running s1 eROM version and in brackets they're going to have a little model number there now if it's a common r that means that the bootloader was successfully unlocked however it's if it's a capital r then it didn't unlock so just run back the same process that i showed you before and get it to unlock all right um once you have done that and you're ahead of this go ahead and you close that off now Okay guys, so you can notice that I've already created the documentation and how the links are going to be. These are all direct links so that you don't have to actually go through the website and get them. You could just go through my um, my description below. So whether or not, uh, so let's say you're a Xperia X8 user, you could go ahead and you could just click on this link over here and um, you could just get that file downloaded. All right. Um, but if you want to use the jelly bean, I would have it in the separate right next underneath the ICS. Also the kernel for the Xperia X8. This is the kernel over here. Right, so you download that as well because you, that's really important. You'd need that. Um, so what I would recommend you do is that you need to, to decide which one you want to go with. Whether or not you want to go with ICS or jelly bean and from that you download the version that you you want right whether it's ICS or JB you download that and once you download that you copy that onto your SD card on your phone all right so once you can once you have that copied onto your SD card you need to also download and copy one more thing Google Apps all devices all right so you could see that there we have the Google Apps for those three devices that I told you about so it works for all three and so once you have that downloaded you also copy that on the SD card on your phone so once you have that copied then we move on to the other step so I've downloaded this this kernel using this link right here and this is my kernel over here all right the U20 two six three two six one all right that is my kernel so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna copy that and i'm gonna go over the computer and when i'm there at computer i'm gonna learn local c flash tools and firmware and i'm just gonna paste that in there all right so once that is pasted in there i'm gonna open flash tool if you're using a 64-bit machine you open 64 or if you're unsure you open 32 and they will tell you if you're wrong or right all right so go ahead and you open it up choose yes all right now they will tell you that the device is connected in flash mode because it we didn't disconnect it okay so go ahead and you choose the little lightning button there and then choose okay all right now you may not see the whole list like this but the one that you're, you're gonna select is 263261NAA6, right? So that's the one that you're gonna select. So once you um once you click on that one, you, all you have to do next is just choose this little flash button over here, right? So once you choose that, you just look on to the log and you read for any issues, right? If you do run into a problem. And you think that is taking a bit long like what it's doing right now it is taking a bit long so what I do I just disconnect my phone when I disconnect it I go ahead and you click the flash button hit okay 
choose the 2.63261 on my list and I choose flash and then with my phone being off with my phone being off I rerun re the same process that I did before I press the back button keep it held and I put the USB into the port the green light is gonna come on and bam all right so that's it it's that simple all right um you could see that on the list over here it even says that your bootloader is rooted what you're gonna do is just gonna disconnect your phone and you're gonna attempt to power on your phone and you're gonna keep pressing the board the back button on your phone all right so keep pressing the back button on your phone even until now right and it's gonna go into the recovery mode now here you'd see uh, a lot of different options so what you, what you're gonna do you're gonna choose install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card and the uh, area that you copied the two files that I told you to download and put on your SD card the G app and your actual ROM you just go ahead to the folder or wherever you put it and just select it right so mine says in custom ROMs and yeah all right and you just scroll on and you hit install right now it's just uh it's installing the actual rom onto the device and once that is installed you know we could we could go on to the next step so just wait for it to finish install okay guys so once that is um is finished installed they would let you know that uh they would, they would have a reminder there or uh, remember to flash uh the google apps that's the g apps that you had downloaded and shown in your sd card so that as well you just uh, go back to the same procedure remember using the volume up and down button to navigate and the middle one here to move the touch screen don't work for this feature right so you just go ahead and you choose install it from sd card choose zip from SD card and you just browse to where you have the file located right once you have that installed and it's completed you go ahead and you choose wipe data factory reset and just select yes and just wait for that to finish right and just go ahead and you click reboot system now right so once the device is, is rebooted it will attempt to boot the newly installed rom right um remember depending on your device you download the version for your device if you're using the x10 mini pro you download that a mini pro version you don't download the mini for the mini pro version all right um all features are equal every single rom has the same feature as each and all of them all right this is the first boot so it's going to take approximately two to three minutes um so you may think that your device is stuck or frozen or something like that but no it's just because it's um it's the first boot and it needs to to optimize and prep all the files that you just installed before you could actually begin to use it Alright, so this is going to take a, a little bit, a little while, so just be patient and you'd notice that mine's finished a little bit faster because I um, paused the video along the way. Okay guys, so now that that is finished, your new ROM is being uh, finalized so that you could have access to it, right? Um, so it's just basic information and just letting you know that to get a little custom go ahead and choose ok all right and this is your new installed rom it's it's really nice it's flawless it just works really 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 good you know um all of the features and everything is so nice and up to date too that it's, it's still being initialized so it would it would be a little bit um slow because everything is being uh, ready for you to use right um you know you notice that the network on top 
did not initialize fully as yet so that will do so in a little bit so you can see all these features you have in settings so I'm just going down and I'm just going to choose about phone to show you all what you have and your current Android version is Android 4.0 alright you can see that um, this is Android 4.0 in an ARM 5 processor which is pretty damn awesome you don't you don't normally get that so um so guys that's that's pretty big yeah so i just like to say thank you all so much for watching i hope that this video was was okay enough so that you guys could install uh the either the ics or the jelly bean on your device whether it was uh, x10 the x10 mini or the x8 all right if you have any comments or anything um, any problems be sure to leave it in the description below I will definitely reply to you all as soon as I can all right um, and be sure to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you all very much